Okay, so uh, I thought I wanted to share about a quote-unquote uh, crash I recently had while paragliding. So the backstory is that we uh, arrived at this, this uh, site where we're going to do some ridge soaring uh, and the forecast uh, was looking great. However, we noticed upon arrival that the wind was quite off, coming quite a bit from the left. So uh, my instructor, as you can see here in uh, the right, uh, the white glider, uh, just before I turned on my GoPro, actually waved at me. What I didn't know was he was wa was that he was waving no, uh, and not just a general greeting. So uh, I proceeded to fly. Just to clarify how off the wind was at this point, right now I'm pointing straight into wind, my feet is, that is. So right here, I knew it was a bad call for me to actually turn around. What I should have done was just to move away from the ridge and then just go land on the beach in the direction I was flying. Right here, I knew I wouldn't be able to gain enough height to turn around again. And now I was flying uh, with the wind in my back. Right here you can see that my arms weren't very low, so I probably should have taken a wrap to flare even harder, because as you can see in the speedometer I was hitting the ground at 40 kilometers an hour. Yep. So in conclusion, nothing uh, really bad came out of this incident, however it uh, very easily could have turned out worse. Uh, the only injury I really had was a uh, scrape on my right arm, uh, and now two days later it is almost healed. You can still see it, but yeah, nothing major at all. So uh, the lesson I learned from this is if you have any doubts about your height at all, better to walk a kilometer or two back than to try to make it back uh, flying, but not being able to turn around and land with the wind in your back. So yeah, that was just my lesson to myself and hopefully uh, to some other guys getting into paragliding. Thank you.